Morning folks, welcome back. We uh, we're out uh, going to try trouting again uh, before the season ends now, for the winter season ends, early some early spring trouting. Um, I'm recording here in a truck because it is a bit windy so he uh, would, wouldn't hear me very well over the wind I would think. So anyway, I got a couple spots that I'm going to go try out today. Um, got a place I've caught trout before uh, during the spring, during the summer. So the ponds are all open up out here now. Everything is, uh, all the ice has gone out of the ponds. So uh, I'll take advantage of it and uh, flick a hook overboard. I see the fellows on the west coast have been very successful in their trouting for landlocked salmon and some brook trout. So uh, we'll see how we make it on this coast today. Anyway, wish me luck. Uh, I'm going to have a little cook up hopefully uh, along the way, a cup of tea for sure. And uh, something a little bit different on a sandwich today. Take it long, folks. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned. Folks, I'm gonna. The brook is right there, so I'm going to uh, just sit up, my backpack, sit all my gear down here. I just noticed that this it's got a lot of beaver cuttings on it, and it's old, but it might be an old beaver house or beaver dam or something along the way. I can't see on the outside of it there, but maybe somewhere along the way it was a beaver dam, beaver house. I mean, sorry, there's definitely cuttings on top of it, and uh, maybe beaver's been around here. I don't know. Anyways, well trodden down around here, and uh, I don't know if it's an active house. I don't see any dams in this part of the pond, rivers, anyways. But anyway, it's interesting. So I get set up here now, guys, and uh, hopefully there's trout in them there waters. We'll see. Now folks, this is my fishing rod I've had since I was 12 years old. The rod, not the reel. The reel is something new. And uh, I know a lot of fellows out there use open face reel. I really hate the open face reel. I'm sorry, Brandon, Braden Kosh. Brandon, I call him Brandon again. Braden, his name is Braden. Braden Kosh. Uh, so Braden, apologize for that. I understand. I know you were into the fishing big time and you had all the open face reels and stuff, but hey. This is what I like. Anyway, um, just a shout out to Braden. I, I do have his t-shirt on today. I'm hoping that it uh, brings me some luck today. Braden has been very successful in his fishing adventures on the west coast earlier this spring. He's caught some wild landlocked salmon, some beautiful, beautiful brook trout. And I'm hoping that he brings me some luck here today. 
So anyway folks, I have worms and let's go try, see if we catch a fish or two. Folks, I've been fishing here for quite a bit now, probably 40, 45 minutes. Not a bite, not a bite. Uh, not right time of year, I guess, for this spot. Anyway, I'm gonna find a spot now. Oh, sorry, <laughs> woke up a branch. I had my arm my fist on. Anyway, I'm gonna find a spot up in the woods here now, out of the wind, because it is a bit chilly. And uh, have a little cook up and have a little chat. Stay tuned, folks. Yeah. Right. So folks, I brought along my little gas stove today uh, just because I can't find my little pocket stove. <laughs> I thought it was at the cabin, but uh, obviously it's not, so it must be home in the garage in the camping gear, so I'll get that later on. So I'm using this one today, uh, and uh, I'm going to boil the kettle and have a little snack here. So folks, while the kettle is uh, is uh, boiling there now, I uh, just a couple shout outs actually. Earlier this week, I was out to uh, the Hump Day Market in St. John's and a fellow YouTuber had a table out there. His YouTube channel is Canoe and Dog, uh, Matt's his name. And uh, he uh, he had some of his stuff on display and I, you know, I didn't realize he was local to the, until I saw it advertised that he was going to be there. So I went out and, and met him, very nice man, very nice gentleman. Great channel, folks. Check him out. Uh, I'll put his link down in the description for his channel. Uh, so yeah, Matt was out there. He had some uh, swag on the go, and I uh, decided to get some of it. And uh, it's pretty cool stuff. It's a ferro rod, some fire starter stuff, so a few stickers, and uh, yeah, some good stuff. So anyway, yeah, check out Matt's channel, folks, and uh, it's it's all good. Hey folks, so yeah, this week, uh, or sorry, this video, you might have noticed that there's some different uh, opening music uh, on, on the video. And that's thanks to a wonderful gentleman by the name of Dale Clemens. Now, Dale is a musician at a Labrador, and he is, I, I've heard his music many times on other YouTuber channels. He, uh, he was on Chuck, Chuck Porter's Everything Outdoors channel. Andrew Moss uh, has, has a... Uh, has his music on his channel and so I reached out to Dale and asked him you know would it be okay if I use some of his tunes on my channel and he was more than gracious uh, he sent along a couple tunes 
and he also created a, two new tunes for me to use on my channel and one of the tunes you heard earlier at the opening and I'll feature the second one there somewhere else in this video maybe in the closing or whatever but Shout, big shout out to Dale Clemens folks. He has a YouTube channel. I'll put the link it uh, again below in the bottom uh, But yeah, go check him out. He is a fantastic musician and a fine gentleman. I gotta say so Dale I appreciate it very much buddy uh, I Love the clips that you sent me and I still certainly be using them in future videos Starting the water now boys there we go, showing a couple tea bags, a little steep up. And uh, get a bit of grub on the go then. What do we have today, folks? Well, let's see. Earlier in the week, if you watch my uh, Facebook post, you know that uh, <laughs> I did a little joke about catching a wild bologna. I didn't realize how I'm passionate uh, people were about their Bologna, Maple Leaf, Sunrise, Larson's, there's a whole bunch of comments on that. Anyway, it got a lot of attention. Uh, I mean, there's, you know, just for catching a wild Bologna is a standard joke that many Newfoundlanders have talked about over the years. And uh, in the conversation, there was a couple of comments. There was a, a gentleman made a comment and he told me about uh, something that I'd never tried before. And this is what we're going to try today. This, folks, is actually moose bologna uh, it's made by a company here in mount pearl or in mount pearl i'm not in mount pearl right now in mount pearl uh, i put a picture of the product up on the up on screen here you can see that it contains a whole bunch of ingredients moose being the primary first ingredient and uh, it looks like bologna but uh, i haven't tried it yet so i bought a couple i vacuum sealed them, them up and you see here a process where i vacuum sealed them and save them for future trips but i'm going to try some today on the, out here in the woods so uh stay tuned for that now gary i know it's not cast iron wednesday but it is saturday so i'm gonna use this cast iron pan to cook my uh bologna and uh, folks <laughs> this is not the wild bologna this is the uh this is actually moose bologna uh, I bought some earlier the week. I only found it this week. A gentleman uh, told me about it. And uh, today we're going to try it. So let the pan heat up here a bit. Oh, I actually had some butter. Here we go. Here's some butter. Put some butter in the pan. The kettle is boiled up now, so I'm going to make a sandwich here now and uh, have a cup of tea with my sandwich. Let's put a little bit of butter in there. in my cast iron pan like I said guys it's not cast iron Wednesday but it's gonna be cast iron Saturday for Daryl <laughs> get that uh, melted down a bit warmed up won't take long once that pan heats up back on to rewarm up folks yeah moose bologna I'm thinking it's gonna be good Get that over there to cool now I have enough here for two sandwiches folks so that's what I'm gonna do just put that one in there for now that one there Yeah, let's see. 
Can it be boiled? I think we're good. Cup of tea. Oh, that's strong tea too, folks. That's gonna be delicious. And shut that off. I have more bologna there, folks, but I don't think I'll be eating all that today. Well, that's good, guys. Mm. Definitely not salty. Mm. I like it. There will be more of this going on future uh, trips. Mm. Delicious. So, folks, uh, this is a uh, Near the end of this spring or this winter fishing trout season. Trout season closes on the 15th of April, and I could be corrected on that, but I think 15th of April is what I remember. <sighs> uh, I won't be doing any more trout after after this week. We got other uh, things on the go that we're going to be busy with. So, um, but in upcoming videos, um, if you're interested, stick or stick around. Uh, I'm going to be doing some more cabin renovations. I got a got some outside work to do and some more inside work to do we're planning a trip with a group of us to go uh, down the Humber River we're gonna start up in uh, I get the name of the pond up there Cormac anyway and work our way down Humber River uh, in canoe to we get to about uh, we'll get out before Big Falls and hopefully uh, we'll get some fishing in Big Falls by that time when we when, when we get when we get out that way so uh, maybe I'll catch up with a couple other YouTubers out on the West Coast. Uh, Braden or Andrew or two Andrews out there. Uh, Charlie White, anybody out that way. If I'm out your way, I'll try to hook up with you. At least uh, get to meet you, shake your hand if that's possible. And uh, I'll let you know. So that's coming up later on in the summer. Uh, I'll be back at my garden. Um, not yet. In the, in the next few weeks, I got to go clean up my greenhouse. Get that ready to go, get that get that on the go, and then prepare my gardens for uh, summer planting. So that'll be in the future videos if you if you like that type of stuff. Anyway, I'd, uh, and I woodworking is always I'm always doing woodworking. I got a couple of projects on the go now for uh, for for a few people. Um, and I'll finish those up this week and so on. So, but uh, yeah, I do different stuff. So if you're interested in different stuff, stay tuned to the channel. Make sure you like, make sure you subscribe, share the videos, folks. Every time you share the videos, uh, it helps me for sure. And uh, I, I'm on Facebook and Instagram, and you see them in my, in, my uh, in, in the description below. And uh, appreciate all the support, appreciate all the subscribers, and thanks to everyone for uh, watching the videos. So anyway, folks, I'm gonna finish my moose bologna sandwich. Take care, and all the best, and I'll talk to you in the next video. Definitely check it out, folks. Moose Bologna, Morris Foods in Mount in, in Mount Pearl.